What is going on guys welcome back to another video i hope you have an amazing day and today's video we are going to take a look at hyper os2 based on android 15 for our redmi k20 pro slash mi 90 pro the rafael code name and i won't be making any kind of installation video for this or recommending to you to install or use this as your daily driver because this project has been abandoned and it is a china based port from xiaomi 15 pro yeah, it does have a lot of Chinese stuff. It has been deep loaded, but it doesn't have any kind of Google optimization or services that you can have besides the normal Google Play Store. But Play Protect and Safety Net is a bit questionable. Like if I just go to about Play Protect isn't certified, nor I'm able to get it working. Even the fingerprint scanner doesn't work if you have it enrolled on any kind of other ROM. If you come over here, it may scan on lock screen with full brightness, but it won't show up anywhere else like in the banking apps and stuff. So it's not that good, but just going through the UI and stuff. I wanted to showcase you guys this, even though it's very old because it's butter smooth. Like Snapdragon 855 is still quite good, but running a flagship UI like this on latest Android is amazing. Look at those animations, even for the notifications, you can just go right over here. And even it has blur everywhere throughout the system, like even behind the notifications, even if I just go through the gallery. It doesn't have a lot of AI features as this is a HyperOS 2 build, not a 2.2 or 2.3. This is the one year screenshot. If you haven't already checked this video, please check out through the playlist. You even have some extra tabs over here, which I haven't seen before, maybe China specific. But going through more apps, even weather app looks very beautiful, nice, good animations as Hyperos already had. If you go here, you have App World, which looks a bit broken, has a bunch of Chinese stuff, not much of use. Even you have the blur working right over here. So hopping on to the settings app, let's just go to my device. You have HyperOS 2, Redmi K20 Pro based on Android 15. right over here with the 2024 security patch so quite old coming back nothing much you have basic functionality which you get with the chinese roms you even have basic ai ai dynamic wallpapers ai speech recognition i don't think ai dynamic wallpapers is present in this rom so don't care but going down personalization you do have a lot of stuff that you already get on the lock screen like hyperos is best when it comes to this and it's just butter smooth on this ROM. So let's just start. As you can see, the UI is very fluid. Let's just apply this one. It feels a bit broken. Let's just download, apply, apply to both. Give it a second. As you can see, the dynamic wallpaper isn't moving, but it does look quite nice. Going through more stuff in the settings, you have display in which Few of the features haven't been removed like the refresh rate or the AI image engine which is completely broken, nothing of use to us. So this ROM hasn't been completely optimized for a noob usage or just daily driver. Going down, nothing much. You have device health usage instead of digital well-being as this being a Chinese ROM. And yeah guys, that's pretty much it for a quick look of Hyper OS 2 based on Android 15 for our Redmi K20 Pro. I hope you guys like it. If you found this helpful, please drop a like and subscribe down there for more videos like this. And if you want an installation video of HyperOS 2, there's a very good HyperOS 2 Android 14 port for this device. If you want an installation on this, please let me in the comment section below. And see you guys in the next one.